So, you've pulled Silver Wolf, eh? Wondering how you can make the most of her to really make the silver shine? Well, you've got you covered. So strap in for a hackerific guide on how to build her right. First things first, you need to ascend your Silver Wolf to level 80. For this purpose, you'll need the following. Automation drops. 15 Ancient Part, 15 Ancient Spindle, 15 Ancient Engine, 65 Void Cast Iron, 887,800 Credits, 5,797,920 XP Materials, 289 Traveler's Guide, 3 Adventure Log, 3 Travel Encounters. First off, let's see what this gamer can actually do. Her abilities are as follows. 1. Basic. System Warning. Deals quantum damage equal to 50, 100, 100% of her attack to a single enemy. Skill. Allow changes? There is a 75, 85, 87% chance to add one weakness of an ally's type to the enemy. Reduces the enemy's damage resistance to that weakness type by 20% for two turns. This won't work on existing type weaknesses. Each enemy can only have one weakness implanted, and the most recent implant will stay. There is a 100% chance to reduce all type resistance of the enemy further by 7.5, 10, and 10% for two turns. Also deals quantum damage equal to 98, 196, and 216% of her attack. 3. Ultimate User Band 110 Energy There is an 85, 100, 103% base chance to decrease the enemy's target defense by 36, 45, 47% for three turns and deals quantum damage equal to 228, 380, and 410% of her attack. 4. Talent Awaiting System Response Creates 3 types of bugs. Reduces attack by 5, 10, and 11%. Reduces defense by 4, 8, and 9%. And reduces speed by 3, 6, and 7%. Each time she attacks, there is a 60, 72, 74% base chance to implant a random bug that lasts for 3 turns. Technique Force Quit Program Deals quantum damage equal to 80% of her attack to all enemies when entering battle, and ignores weakness types, and reduces toughness. Weakness broken foes will suffer the same quantum break effect. Priority Skill Ultimate Talent Basic Attack To max her out, you'll need to get her basic attack to 6, skill, ultimate, and talent to 10. So start collecting these materials. Automation Drops 33 Ancient Part 46 Ancient Spindle 28 Ancient Engine Calyx Great Mind Drops 12 Obsidian of Dread, 53 Obsidian of Desolation, 101 Obsidian of Obsession, Echo of War, Doomsday Beast. Drops, 9 Destroyer's Final Road, 6 Tracks of Destiny, 2,197,500 Credits. Moving on to Traces, A2 Generate. Bug duration is extended for one turn. Whenever an enemy is weakness broken, she has a 65% base chance of implanting a random bug. A4, Inject. The duration of the weakness implanted by her skill increases by one turn. A6, Side Note. If there are three or more debuffs affecting the enemy when the skill is used, decreases the enemy's all type of resistance by an additional 3%. Priority, Generate, Inject, Side Note. These goodies aren't gonna level up for free. So start farming, Automation Drops. Eight Ancient Part, 10 Ancient Spindle, 30 Ancient Engine, Calyx Great Mind Drops, 6 Obsidian of Dread, 16 Obsidian of Desolation, 38 Obsidian of Obsession, Echo of War, Doomsday Beast Drops, 9 Destroyers Final Road, 2 Tracks of Destiny, 802,500 Credits. Eidolons. Should you really go for her Eidolons, especially as an F2P, below are her best Eidolons, so consider your funds before pulling. 1. E2 Zombie Network. When an enemy enters battle, reduce their effect resistance by 20%. 2. E6 Overlay Network For every debuff the target enemy has, the damage dealt by Silver Wolf increases by 20%, up to a limit of 100%. 3. E1 Social Engineering After using her ultimate to attack enemies, Silver Wolf regenerates 7 energy for every debuff that the target enemy currently has. This effect can be triggered up to 5 times, in each use of her ultimate. If you really love this character and want to go for her Eidolons, we recommend you go up to E2 at best and no more, especially if you have limited funds. Unless you're a whale, of course. Then you can go all the way to E6 without any issues. Light Cones. Her best weapons are as follows. Incessant Rain. Not the most F2P option, but if you do get it, you're set. 
Silverwolf really needs the effect hit right to land or debuffs, and this light gun ups her damage in the process. Aether Code forces enemies to receive 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20% increased damage as well. Before the tutorial mission, the best F2P option for Silverwolf, make sure to grab it before it's gone. This increases her effect hit rate, and even regenerates energy for her to ult more. 3. Resolution shines as pearls of sweat. You'll have to rely on the gacha for this one, but it will ensnare enemies to reduce their defense. 4. Eyes of Prey. It won't hurt to have effect hit rate on her, and increase damage over time. This light cone will become increasingly useful once Kafka is released as well. 5. Good night and sleep well. Increases damage for every debuff the enemy has, including damage over time. Relics. Depending on what you want from Silver Wolf in your RNG, take your pick from among these. 1. Thief of Shooting Meteor, 4 set. Increases break effect by 16%, and when inflicting weakness break, regenerates 3 energy. Facilitates a break effect Silver Wolf, who is already pretty energy efficient. 2. Genius of Brilliant Stars, 4 set. Increases quantum damage by 10%, and when the wearer deals damage to the enemy, ignores 10% defense. If the enemy has quantum weakness, additionally ignores 10 defense. A more DPS oriented Silver Wolf, because why not? 3. Musketeer of Wild Weed, 4 set. Attack increases by 12%, the wearer's speed increases by 6%, and basic attack damage increases by 10%, as most of her damage scales with her attack. As for Planar Ornaments, there is a lot of versatility depending on what you're lacking. 1. Talia, Kingdom of Banditry, 2 set. Increases the wearer's break effect by 16%. When the wearer's speed reaches 145 or higher, their break effect increases by an extra 20%. Works wonders alongside shooting meteor. 2. Inert Salsoto, 2 set. Increases the wearer's crit rate by 8%. When the wearer's crit rate reaches 50% or higher, their ultimate and follow-up attack damage increases by 15%. This is the way for a damage-oriented Silver Wolf. 3. Pan Galactic Commercial Enterprise, 2 set. Increases the wearer's effective hit rate by 10%. Their attack also increases by an amount that is equal to 25% of their current effect hit rate, up to a maximum of 25%. Good old effect hit rate. Sprightly Von Walk, 2 set. Increases the wearer's energy regen by 5%. When the wearer's speed reaches 120 or higher, their action is advanced forward by 40% immediately upon entering battle. If your Silver Wolf isn't getting her ult back fast enough, this is the way to go. Stats you need to keep your eyes on. Body, crit rate, feet, speed, planar sphere, quantum damage, link rope, energy regen rate or attack percent, substats, effect hit rate, speed, crit damage, equals crit rate over attack percent. Calculations. Silver Wolf may primarily be a debuffer, but her raw damage output against a single target is incredible, especially since she can make them weak to quantum. Below chart showcases her solo damage without the signature light cone. Silver Wolf is an awesome debuff support unit who can fit right into almost any team. One of her greatest strengths is the ability to enable mono element teams thanks to her weakness implants. Ideally, she should work with a main DPS and preservation slash abundance unit, so her best comps look like this. Silver Wolf, Ching Yuan, Ting Yun, Bei Liu. Silver Wolf, Seal, Branya, Ting Yun. Silver Wolf, Yan Ching, Pela, Jepard. Silver Wolf, Himiko, Asta. Fire Trailblazer. Silver Wolf, Clara, Su Shang, Natasha. Silver Wolf, Ching Chue, Natasha, Physical Trailblazer, F2B. The Silver Wolf skill combo goes as follows. Start the battle with Silver Wolf's technique to immediately decrease opponent's toughness. Follow this skill up with her skill in the first turn itself. Remember to reuse her skill when this duration ends, and use her basic every other time to manage the team's skill points effectively. You can use your ultimate whenever it's up. Bug stacking from her talent. Silver Wolf applies a random bug on the enemy she attacks. This mechanic works in such a way that these bugs stack on enemies without repetition. So there's not much RNG here, and all three bugs will be on the target after three attacks. The fourth attack will then refresh the duration of the bug and so on. Technique cheat. For Silver Wolf, all enemies are treated as quantum. As such, she will deal damage to all of them and apply the quantum entanglement if they get broken. Weakness implant via skill. For example, if your team consists of four different elemental characters, you have 25% chance to apply one of them to the enemy. The probability is 50% per element, if you only have two types. If an enemy already has elemental weakness, matching that of an ally, Silver Wolf will skip it and apply that which isn't there already. 
If you've already pulled Silver Wolf, you now know exactly what to do to hack the game with her. If you're still wondering whether to pull for her or not, here's how we see it. Silver Wolf is definitely worth it, even more so if you have Seal, due to her extremely unique ability to implant a weakness. There likely won't ever be another unit who can do this, and thus provides immense value. She is also ever so versatile, allowing literally almost any team to combat any enemy. We just don't see this unit getting an alternative, or power sept, solely due to the sheer uniqueness of her kit. Regardless, Star Rail is still new. There are so many possibilities for future characters to be better than her, with entirely new capabilities, but this applies to every single unit in the game. Silver Wolf's versatility makes her quite F2P, and she is not particularly difficult to build either, as there are strong F2P contenders for all her gear slots. She literally is the meta right now, but metas are as changeable as the weather. We can assure you that she will stay relevant and useful for a long time, so don't hesitate to pull and build her.